Okay, this is the original Igus.com unit that Wim had started with in the Velo Tilts. I still use it. Nowadays, Igus.com from Germany, they sponsor Velo Tilt. So there's a new unit, just came this morning. And there's another one, but uh, originally they had four railroad cars on this railroad track, so I put six on it. And so this is a mock-up, and these this is a mock-up too. These are um, ball screw nuts with ball bearings in them, and then I guess has the best because these are just plain lead screws with no ball bearings. And they need they don't need oil, they don't need anything. A left thread and a right thread. And we're gonna show a video, 20 second video animation of uh, this experimental tilt unit. And so that's it for right now on this. And it's going together pretty quick. And the carbon plates, instead uh, of aluminum plates, and and this this railroad track slides just a little bit for the rear suspension not much but doesn't need much and so now it's carbon instead of aluminum so that's it and this this won't be used this will be used i guess.com you should look up that uh website and get a catalog from them it's a great company i'm trying a new project on the R&D machine with a fork and there's all kinds of, of uh, front wheel drive units you can put on here. You can have a Gates belt, you can have chain, uh, Sturmy Archer, single speed, nine speed, 10 speed hub, drum brake. We had a drum brake on this uh, months ago, but I didn't, I didn't like my axle setup and it was a monoblade, so it's laying over there. So there's a pinion, 18-speed gearbox. This is a mountain drive, slump drive from Germany, Germany. And then over here is the Igus upper unit that goes to the outriggers. And that's a German company too. And there's the same rail I was talking about a while ago um over there on the table but this is the r d machine it's just a welded up aluminum frame to do research on and of course the over here is the velo tilt and the velo tilt does not have a frame it's a carbon unibody you can uh google that or wikipedia you know the difference between monocoque and unibody so I ride, this is ride, I've been riding this uh, weekly. And so um, there's actuation on the upper. And then the Gates belt is down here. And they sponsor me uh, too with parts. And I like the Gates belt. I have a roll off in that wheel down there from the Netherlands. And I've been riding this thing for months. Uh, I kind of like it. Uh, I had to take the canopy off. You could not see out of it. It's illegal. You'd probably get yourself killed. Uh, so I'm making a new canopy. And if you look over there, there's the uh, molds for the velo tilt. And then over there is the molds for the three-wheeler and the four-wheeler. And there's the four-wheeler Quattro Velo I built right there. So there's that. And, uh, but this one has got e-tilt on it, so you can just tilt with your thumb and then go back the other way. So, it's really a lot of fun to ride it. Okay, now, I built this jig fixture in case uh, any mods have to be done to front forks. And it's great. It's 80-20. It's 135 millimeter or whatever you want. You can you can make these any way you want. Back here holds the steer tube, steer stem. Then the legs come down. And I also have a, a cutting jig fixture 
If you need to cut one leg or both legs, it's in there in the other room. So you, you gotta have a jig fixture to do welding, or even if you're bonding something, you gotta have a jig fixture. These outriggers are carbon fiber, little arrow shaped, and of course these on the mule or the R&D machine are just, just square carbon. That's experimental, and this is past experimental prototyping. So that's it right now.